Okay, uh, today I got something kind of fun for you. Uh, nothing, not one of my usual videos, um, but something I thought would be kind of fun. I was at the hardware store the other day picking up some glue and a few other uh, various supplies, and uh, I was poking around in the clearance section like I'm known to do, and I saw this knife in there. Uh, now it's a case, uh, Sodbuster Jr. Now it's uh, not the fanciest knife in the world, but it's something I always wanted to case knife, and uh, I like pretty basic knives and this one was on clearance for $17 you see there so for a USA made pocket knife you can't go wrong with that so yeah I'll show you this one real quick so like I said I carry pocket knives I did it as a kid and then it's something I started doing again a few years ago especially at work kind of nice to have so as you can see this is like the synthetic um, uh, handled you know, it's just a basic uh, flip-out pocket knife. I'm not like a reviewer or anything, so don't expect to uh, say anything too detailed here. But as you can see, Sidebuster Jr. Stainless Steel case. And as you can see, it is made in the USA. And yeah, I just thought it was a pretty nice little pocket knife. And like I said, I mean, to get, you know, a case knife, uh, and like I said, made in America, you know, um, pocket knife for 17 bucks. I mean, how can you go wrong? And this is kind of the kind of knife I like. I like the classic kind of old school looking ones. So I figured while I had this guy out, I might as well show you some other ones I've picked up. Which I know in a couple of the other videos I've shown off a few other knives. But uh, my one of my favorite knives, um, this is my like dress knife. Uh, you know, when you're going out in some place fancy and you want to have a nice like little knife, oh, it's got a little spot there I need to take care of. But uh, this is an uh, Otter uh, Anchor Knife. I got the box right here, I'll show you that one. But this is probably one of my favorite knives. I just love the looks of it. Nice wood handle, the, you know, the anchor inlay in brass. It's just a beautiful knife. This is made in Germany. So here I got the box right here. So as you can see, uh, Otter. And it's the Anker Messer knife. Uh, and carbon steel. I got it from uh, Harry Epstein's. And uh, I remember, uh, I can't remember which video, so I was watching one. And one of the things they talked about is like, if you like knives, um, and a big thing to think about is like, like I said, if you're going out in the town and uh, you're going someplace knife, you pull out one of those, you know, tactical, whatever, flancy flip knives, or whatever, kind of, you know, some people may look at you a little funny. I mean, nothing wrong with tactical knives or anything like that, but. You know, like somebody said, when you pull out a knife like this, it reminds people of like what their grandpa would carry. I guess something like that. So it's kind of less of a, I guess we'd say like a attention getter. And more of like, like you know, nobody's really going to blink if you pull one of these out to, you know, cut open a box or something. But, you know, you pull out one of those, uh, well here, kind of like this guy. Like I got this uh, from Uline. This is, is kind of like a utility knife just in the kitchen. Or in the kitchen, but in general, like open boxes and things. But you know, you open up something like this, definitely gives off a slightly different perspective than this, you know. But anyway, oh, like I said, this is a knife I got from Uline. Like at work, we get a lot of Uline stuff, so this is one of the things we got. And like I said, we keep it in the kitchen, you know, if you get a package and you want to open it up, just pull this guy out. I mean, it's a decent knife. Um, it's Sarge, nothing fancy, but you know, like I said, if you just a kind of a beater, you know, use it, abuse it, whatever, not a big deal. And then, yeah, I'll show you this one too. Uh, I got another Uline knife. This is actually a Victorinox. And it is, let's see, let me show you right there. Yeah, so this is a Swiss made, basic Swiss Army knife. It's got the, uh, what was it, the Buffalo check pattern. You know, it's kind of fun. It's got the little, corkscrew and all the various implements and things on it. But yeah, I said basic little, like I said, uh, Swiss Army knife, you know, can openers, tweezers, stuff you, you know, y'all had when you were a kid. Like I said, I got one of these too. Don't really need it, but I kind of like having it around. It's kind of fun. Something uh, I kind of like to go camping with. And uh, speaking of camping, I got my camping knife here. Uh, I picked this up in an estate sale. It's uh, Camillus, I think that's what they call it. Or that's how you say it, I know that's what they call it. But you see a C-A-M-I, 
is that LLUS, and it's dated 1993. So this is like a, like a, a military knife, but this isn't the military version. It's just a regular one for sale. And as you can see, it's like the Swiss Army knife. It's got the can opener and things on it. And it's a nice little knife, and I like it because it's got like the little hook on it. And I took it camping when we went camping the UP. This was the knife I had and used it. And it's, it's actually quite a nice knife. And like I said, I picked it up used at an estate sale. I think I got it, I don't know, 10 bucks or something. So anyway, it's kind of a fun one. Nice little stainless knife. Oops. And then I also have this guy, uh, which actually I don't really like. I think it's a Victorinox Cadet. I think that was the name of it. And again, it's a Swiss made. Let's see if I can get that to get in focus a bit or not. Well, anyway, there it goes. But yeah, it's the thing I don't like this one is it's got like a really short blade on it. And it's just, I don't know, it's like a big handle and a little short blade. And it's just, I don't know, I've never really liked using it. So I keep this one like in my toolbox. So again, if I need something real quick, it just stays out there. Nothing too fancy. But my daily driver, the one I keep in my pocket, I guess as the kids like to say, the EDC everyday carry. It's this little guy. My girlfriend picked up. It's a little fish knife. Um, I don't really know much about it. I think it's like from like the Czech Republic or something, but it's just a cute little knife, but it stores nice in my little like coin pocket. And you know, it's nice to carry every day. I get to pull it out and look at it. It's just a cute little knife. You know, cute little fish knife. So yeah, so this is the one I carry every day. Um, this is the one I carry when I'm going out and like fancy things. Camping knife. And now I got this guy, which may end up being more of my uh, daily knife, too. I'm not sure yet, but meantime, that's the one I do every day. And speaking of the girlfriend, she also likes to carry a knife. Got this little guy. Uh, we picked this up at a, a store not too long ago. And it's, it's one, it's kind of the cutest little knife I've ever seen. It's got these really cool little, like, engraved ends on it. And again, little wood handle, the brass little, like, pins. It's a very dainty little blade, but it's kind of perfect for like uh, carrying in your, in your purse. And uh, I just thought it was an awfully cute little knife. And uh, again, good just for like, you know, you need to pull out, do a little something, kind of open a little package or something at work. Oh, well, you got this little knife. So yeah, like I said, this is, I said I thought it was just a very nice knife, very cute. And uh, I know she likes it too. So, anyway, kind of a, just a little bit of a knife collection here. Like I said, I'm not a super knife guy. I'm not a knife reviewer. I'm not any of that. You know, I leave that up to like nut and fancy and all those guys. But uh, I do, you know, like pocket knives and things. And these are pretty much all the ones I got. And like I said, my regular ones and like some work ones and just some ones in general. So, anyway, I thought well, I got this one. It'd be kind of fun to show you some of the other ones I got. So, that's it. Thanks. Bye.